Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be doing an advanced tutorial uh, for the emote keybind in 5M. So, as you may have known, there is a uh, there are many tutorials on YouTube showing off a radio emote keybind where you can push to activate. So when you press a key, it will activate this emote. And then when you let go of that key, it will, dis it will uh, disable uh, that emote, that radio emote. So if I go back here, you can see how many videos there are that basically show the same thing of how to get this uh, radio keybind. However, when I took a look at this code, I wanted to, you know, change the key that is used to activate this bind. Instead of my mouse button, one of my mouse buttons, I wanted to change it to my N key on my keyboard. And also for the uh, actual emote that it activates, I wanted to change that as well. Because my server, or the server that I play in, has a more advanced emote system, I would say, and I would prefer to use that instead of this uh, radio emote. All right, so to change my uh, key that activates the, the emote and the emote itself, we first have to understand how this entire line of code works. So the first thing I wanna show you is how these sections this one this one and this one and this one these sections are all separated by a uh, semicolon the reason for this to my understanding is that these semicolons are like a new line usually when people write code they use many lines they use indentations if you if you have uh, tried you know programming before you will know that you have used many lines so whoever made this wanted to keep you know his activation thingy all in one line his uh his code all in one line because it's easy to just you know select everything copy and paste it into the f8 uh, menu so these semicolons basically tell the F8 console to okay execute this then after that you're gonna execute that then execute this and then execute that instead of saying instead of saying execute everything at once it's kind of a step-by-step -step operation we're going to start off with this section of the code down here where it says unbind uh, mouse button and mouse button extra button too what this basically does is it unbinds uh the key mouse button extra button two so it's going to be one of the side keys on your mouse button this unbind command has two parameters so the first parameter basically uh says that hey look at the mouse and find mouse extra button two that's what basically says so because we want to use my n key I, d I don't want it to be looking at my mouse and saying where is the n key what i'm gonna do is change the mouse button to keyboard like that so it's, i'm telling the uh, uh the 5m client the key that i want right which is n is on my keyboard and then the next i just type in just like that next over here is a setter set a command setter command um it's basically if we refer to the 5m docs down here it's basically defining a variable so setter also has 
but it also accepts two parameters one is the key and one is the value the key is like the name and then the value is basically what this name means it's like uh wth is equals to what the heck right um obviously it's not exactly an abbreviation as shown here if you if one were to type um you know set a set a food escargot then food would mean escargot because that's the key and this is the value that is attached to this key so this plus radio basically contains this string which is e radio now this may look this text this line of text may look a bit familiar to you because when you use uh emotes you you always type in chat like slash e space you know like uh sleep or slash e space radio right when you're playing a game in 5m so this string is actually executed directly to the 5m console and not your uh not your chat so that's why it doesn't have the familiar slash down here since this is a variable the name can be anything basically i would suggest you use a name like um uh let's say alpha we'll just just we'll just for um you know for demonstration purposes i'm gonna use alpha now you can use almost any name just try to make it uh contain small letter text like you know alpha or bravo anything that has text you can even leave it as radio i would not recommend including numbers um or special you know special uh symbols and stuff like that don't do that but yeah as long as you keep it simple it shouldn't mess it mess itself up it's just a name and you can set it to basically anything of your choosing but so since i want to change the actual emote that is triggered when i press on my end key and then cancel when i let go of my end key i'm gonna set this radio emote to the new uh emote so in this case in my case it's wt2 now like i said this will be definitely different on other servers you may not even have this radio emote so you know just pick whatever emote you're planning on uh attaching to this uh push to activate uh line of code so once we have this settled we can move on to the next section down here so same thing it's a setter only as you can see there's a minus here and there's a plus here now we'll get to these symbols in just a moment since i've changed the name radio from here to alpha i'm gonna have to change this too to alpha the thing is about uh quake it's the language that 5m runs on that 5m not really runs on but the, at least the console runs on uh is that the plus initiates an action and the minus terminates an action this activates the radio emote this is how it activates the radio emote by inputting e space w2 uh, wt2 into the f8 console and then this one deactivates the emote by waiting 250 i'm not sure the units but i think maybe milliseconds 
and then uh, inputting E space C into the 5M console. Now you may recognize this E space C. If you go in game and go into your chat and type slash E space C, it should cancel any emote that you're currently running. So what this does is it actually waits 250 something, I think, most likely milliseconds maybe, and then uh, cancels the radio emote. So what we want to do is just make sure we have the same name, the plus alpha and the minus alpha, when you define a variable, always have a plus and minus in this case because you know activating and deactivating. You can also change this. I'm gonna set this to 350. I wanna let it last a little longer when I have released the radio or uh, the radio key bind. Because when you release the radio key bind, it's gonna wait 350 now and then clear. You might, I mean, if you can even just delete this entire thing, and when you release the bind, the, the key that it's binded to, in this case one is N, if I release the N key, it will automatically uh, disable, it will deactivate the current emote. So once we are satisfied with this section, we can move on to the last section. Now, as you can see, we have a bind command down here. Similarly to the unbind command, there is the location and then there's the actual key that you want to bind it to. And then down here is a string or like a series of text stuff down here. Looks, looks a bit complicated, but it's not. So what we want to do is change this keyboard same thing as what we did for the unbind and we're going to change this to n obviously so next try and figure out what this string means so you know that plus radio was down here but now it's plus alpha so what we're going to do is just change the radios to alpha just like that we're going to change that and that so now this calls uh, this variable, meaning it will print out this text to the console, and then this minus alpha you know, calls this variable, and it waits 350 and then disables the emote by, you know, uh, input uh, by inputting e space c into the F8 menu, the F8 uh, console. Sorry. But we have a VSTR here. What is VSTR? We have not seen any VSTR up to this point, and so we are going to look at the uh, the uh, Quake documents. So what VSTR does down here? This is a forum. Basically, using the VSTR command such as vstr vstr uh, sorry vstr v1 means execute the command stored in the v1 variable so what basically this does is it's saying execute plus alpha and then when you have let go of the n key execute minus alpha like that once we have you know finished everything we want to do. I'm going to copy this and we're going to go and hop into 5M. Now I'm going to uh, go to my settings over here and I'm going to go into uh, game. I'm going to go and click on the beta release now I will uh, exit to desktop and then relaunch 5M. 
Now, the reason why we need to change this to beta is because 5M will not allow you to uh, start or uh, to enter the certain console commands in release mode. You have to change it to beta to enter the uh, the line of code in. Once that is, once you've entered the line of code in, uh, you can revert back to your release. Okay, so once we have gotten into 5M, we can press F8 and just paste our new uh, stuff, our new edited uh, radio keybind. And we're going to paste it in. Now, it is normal to not see any errors. If you see any errors at the end of this line, something is very wrong. But otherwise, if there's no errors and it looks exactly like mine, then hooray, you have completed what you have set out to do. So, I'm going to just do some demonstrations by going into my... Uh, GT, my uh, roleplay server that I play on. I don't actually own it. I keep saying my uh, roleplay server like I own such a thing. Um, yeah, but I'm just going to show you that it actually works. Okay, so now that I am in uh, the server, if I press N, as you can see, my new radio thing it's working since um the so because the code unbinds the key first i'm gonna go back into my settings and i'm going to uh put my key binds and go to 5m and uh go ahead and make sure that my second key is n for talk over radio. It's because I have two um, radio keybinds. So the so the downside I want to talk about uh, with this radio keybind is let's say you're in cover, right? And someone's shooting at you and you press your radio keybind to ask for help, it will kick you out of cover. It's worse when you are, let's say, behind a vehicle. So if I hide behind this vehicle down here, Let's say someone's shooting at me, and I radio in for some help, right? I'm gonna stand up. I'm gonna get shot. So what I recommend is to use this only for like cosmetic purposes. What you wanna do is, you know, I'm gonna just set my radio to a random number, right? I'll show you that I have one bind which is just plain and simple talking of radio and then one is with the uh actual radio emote itself this is because you know when you're in cover and you're in combat i mean my side button mouse down here is used to stay in cover and talk on radio at the same time obviously it's not your 1000 percent rp but it is leaning more towards tactical uh, tacticality, if that's a word, uh, rather than you know cosmetic purposes and standing up doing a gunfight just to talk over radio. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please like and subscribe. I'm currently running out of YouTube ideas, so. Comment what I should do next in the video description. And on that note, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you again in the next video.